But now we're moving on. Great, 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 great start today. So now we're moving on to an old friend of mine, actually, uh, Ben Carter. He's direct, director of director of strategic partnerships at Just Eat. We first met a long time ago when we were working together on New uh, Media Age magazine. So Ben's talk is women's football. Why brands are missing a trick. Ben, good to see you again. It's been a long time. You've got, and even though we haven't seen each other for a long time, I'm still going to horn you off after 99 seconds. So you have 99 seconds, which is starting now. Great to see you, Justin. And how the hell do I follow that? Right. Uh, women's football. So just a quick one. Women in football is an organisation and we're committed to making football a level playing field from pitch to boardroom. I'm hugely passionate about it and I'm the only member of, the, sorry, only male member of the board. So look, women's football's at a tipping point. It's currently in a forced hiatus because of coronavirus, but it's got a unique opportunity to come back even bigger and better. Fan growth in the men's professional game has plateaued, whilst before COVID, women's football was seeing significant growth. Record attendances, 77,000 people watching England Germany at Wembley, and a near 200,000% increase, sorry, 200% increase in attendances at WSL matches, including 38,000 for the, for the North London derby, Arsenal, Tottenham. But perhaps the most compelling stat is the audience engaging with women's football is a 50-50 split between men and women. And as we've seen with the growing popularity of the Lionesses, it's really popular and a great platform for young women and young families. We're also seeing a pull forward from the men's game. We've seen great examples of professional clubs starting to promote teams as one club. But clearly the elephant in the room is TV viewing figures are low. And despite increasing focus and investment from broadcasters, there is a big gulf. But this is changing. This shouldn't put off brands. Women's football is a cost-effective platform that gives brands true immersive and full access into clubs in a way you can only dream about with the men's professional game. It's a fantastic purpose-driven platform that gives you direct access to ready-made communities. Look at Nielsen's data. A fifth of the population is more influenced by sponsors of women's sport than men. And 63% of the population believe brands should invest in both. Still need convincing? It's a true differentiator. It's the opportunity to be at the vanguard. It's not going to be here forever. We've seen a few brands engaged, Barclays, Boots, Disney, and Visa. And if you want inspiration, look at what Vitality did with Netball. They got in early and funded the sport to become professional. Not a bad you role model. You're stopping. You finished. You, you <laughs> lost those seconds. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. I horned you off and you're still talking, which is the first. Yeah. So congratulations. <laughs> That's the privilege of being your former colleague, Justin. Yeah, that's, it's fast true, that's true, you're allowed. Okay, great night on second chat and loads of questions coming in. Uh, guess one here from Yogi who asks, what do you think of the return of the Premiership? Is it going to work? Uh, absolutely, it will work, but we're disappointed that women's football hasn't returned and we're disappointed that we've got to wait till September. I think it should be a level playing field. I think there should have been a return, as there has been in Germany, of the men and women's professional game. Great. Okay. Uh, and Olaf, I think it's Olaf, asks, when it comes to Just Eat, what have you been most heartened by or surprised by over the last three months? Been most heartened by the response and the reaction of our restaurants. Just Eat is nothing without our restaurant partners. We've got 35,500 in the UK. We've seen amazing acts of donating food to the NHS that we have done and our restaurants have done, but also the fact that they've had to completely adapt their trading model. They've, they've had to operate on skeleton staff. They've had to deal with social distancing, but they've managed to keep operating. So I think their resilience is a credit to the real national effort against coronavirus. Excellent. Question from Andy asks, what are Just Eat doing within women's football? So just, so just Eat this year have made a big move into football and we, and, and we are looking seriously at women's football. I'm, I'm no longer the marketing director, so that's no longer in my gift. Um, <laughs> but I am lobbying my former colleagues very hard on women's football and I'm hopeful you will see us in women's football sooner rather than later. Amazing. Okay, I think last question we've got time for from Edie. Edie, uh, the gap between WSL and the championship is huge in terms of talent and budget. Do you think the more sponsorships will further this or bridge the gap? So I think two things have to, have to happen, Edie. I think it's about the, 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 the male professional clubs getting behind their women's teams properly, not as, not, not, not as almost a, a distraction, but being part of the core teams. I think also we need broadcasters to actually improve the production quality of what we're seeing, both in terms of WSL and Championship. 
And then you want to see sponsorships basically cross both WSL and championships so that funding goes into grassroots. Perfect, Ben. Absolutely amazing. Brilliant to see you. Great talk and great question answering. Thank you so much for your time. See you soon. Thank you, guys.